Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Strawberry Hill Podcast. I'm your host, Mike Simmons, and as normal, we are here at the Shop Cigar Lounge, and we're getting it ready for the holidays, so please come and visit us, come and see us. It's all nice and cozy in here, all beautiful. Christmas trees are up. Start a little bit early. I'm a November 1st guy. As soon as the soon as day, or, uh, Halloween's over, we start Christmas up in here. But uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Make sure you follow us on all the platforms, and today... We got the man behind the brand, Mr. Isai Flacencio, Flacencio, Flacencio Moreno. What? Oh, God. <laughs> That's not your name? Uh, Junior, I'm uh, sorry. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> nice to meet you. So how are you? How are you doing well? Pretty doing good, well? pretty good. Good, good, good. So everything rock and roll in your world? Yeah, it's pretty slow right now, but it's about to pick up soon. Yeah, hold, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you got a new podcast coming out soon? Yeah, we actually got... Three new new shows coming out. Three, yeah. I thought you had two. Right now we have two uh, total. You you and I seventy. No no no. You said three coming out. Yeah. So you had two. No. This so the third one. So uh, yeah, let's talk I go about ahead it. Let's tell about it. We got one that is a uh, uh, cannabis based show. So we'll be you know in, indulging in cannabis. Indulging in cannabis. And then we have uh, all girls cast. Uh-huh. show coming out that's going to be pretty cool it's going to be catered to women woman problems women uh uh so the it's called her tendencies her tendencies all yeah. right you changed the name like seven times no so. no this is the first name oh, okay yeah yeah no. <laughs> it's called her tendencies so that one's going to be strictly for a female audience so just all females on yeah. there all the time mm-hmm. so a guy can't come on no Okay. No. Okay. I, I, so occasionally we might. No, we uh-huh. might. We might uh-huh. uh, occasionally bring on uh-huh. a guy. Whatever you say. But you know, twenty twenty four man. We'll probably we, they'd have to be like a, pro- a professional in the field we're talking about. Okay. You know, not just some random dude. Some random there. dude trying to holler at the girls. Yeah. Gotcha. No. No. Um, Don't worry. He left. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the second or no, the third one. Is actually a show with the the famous George. We're gonna oh, get started. We're, we're, here. we're talking about that one. I, I didn't know you were <laughs> actually like green lighting that one. Yeah, I, I that was honestly one of the ones I wanted to green light the most because it's more of a social media driven uh-huh. show. So it's not we're not even gonna name it a podcast. It'll, it's more of like a show. Yeah, yeah. So we're we're the subheading on it is gonna be a debate show. What's it gonna be called? Do you have the name for it yet? Yeah. What is it? It is um uh, Crap, what's it called, Mark? Uh, Are you right? Am I right? No, no. Uh, uh, it was, intellectual uh, jab. Intellect. I like that. Yeah, yeah. George came up with it. I won't I, take that. I don't like it anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> but that one's going to be one where he we literally bring in people for him to argue with. And he's going to argue whatever the opposing side to their opinions are. And how long's the argument? Depends on the argument. So, So if he's able to... Switch them over to the opposite side, like, in five minutes. It'll be a five-minute show. Then he wins? Yeah. So his job is to get them to change their mind. They're he's wrong never wrong. He's, he's, he's never wrong. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So but which, so if, which side is he going to take? I mean, he, he, does he choose or does? It'll be, the so op- it'll be the opposite of whatever they yeah. come on and they want to talk about. Okay. He will exactly. take the stance of that's, the opposing force. That's going to be, that's, you're going to get. <laughs> that's a lot. That's going to be no, that that's one's some not high be, sensitive stuff that you can for, probably get into. Uh, for sure, but like you know, I say we're probably going to stay away from, you know, political topics. The political religion. You're not going to go straight into religion. like abortion. I feel like we should. No, I think that's a bad idea. I don't think so. I think I think the the public's opinions are are swaying back in the favor of everybody could have their own and it doesn't matter. Everybody can have their own what? Opinion? Opinions. Yeah. Well, yeah, every, of course, everybody should have their Without opinion. there being a, a problem. My whole deal is, which show I think it's a good idea, yeah. going back to the opinion thing, uh-huh. I think everyone should have their own opinion, but I don't think you should force your opinion on other people. For sure. Yeah. but Not saying that that's what you're going to do. So, Well, it kind of is. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> actually, I'm not going to lie. Actually, yes, we are forcing our So, opinion. like, think about it this way. We're going to have George play devil's advocate. Sure. For 
any you have to like any single topic. preface that every show. Yeah, yeah, for it's sure. Like, hey, this is not our beliefs. This is just <laughs> exactly. for fun. Exactly. Like, yeah. like, straightforward debate purposes. Yes. He's but, gonna be wearing a shirt every episode that says Master Debater. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was greenlit by uh, <laughs> yet, but uh, I like that. We'll see. <laughs> you like <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but like you know George well enough to understand that like he can make he's never sense. wrong. He, no, he's never wrong, but he can make in sense of an opposing side. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Like pretty easy. And if if you think about it, say this person coming in with such strong opinions, right? About their their side of the whatever the debate is. George will be able to point out things that those people had not even thought about. And I truly think that this could be something that helps more than it hurts. Mm-hmm. And also, like, end of each debate, George and whoever is going to shake hands and go about their day, and they're going to either learn from each other or go away. Hate each other. Hate each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But this that's all, all upon This all the stemmed guest. from that one. Were you here that one time where he got yeah. grilled? No, no. Like, yeah. Let me, let me say it. This up. all me, stemmed from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this all stemmed from one day we were sitting in the shop just enjoying a cigar, me, Mike, and George, and I just was like, asking about the courtroom and like what that experience is like and then i asked to do like basically a mock trial yeah i was <laughs> and, like and I, I kept warning something. you like yeah. you sure you want to do this right right <laughs> and i sat there and was so baffled by how much george was bullshitting out of his mouth and sounding right and making it to where i felt like i was in the wrong mm-hmm. and i was like this is a gift I yeah. was like, not well, a lot of times with arguments, you have to believe in what you're saying, yeah. even though you know it's bullshit. Mm-hmm. Like you fake it a lot, fake it till you make it. Yeah, yeah. But that that's the the first time that it it did spark in my head that George could. Do. Yeah, you got lit up, and you're like, I don't yeah. like this. Let, yeah. let other people do this. I, I felt like Michael Scott when uh, after the the roast of Michael Scott when he went sat in the park, fed the birds and stuff. When he was depressed, <laughs> he was yeah. Like, oh, God. <laughs> I think that's a good show. Yeah. You're you're going to have to, like, it's going to be tough finding people, though. You're gonna, Like, you're trying to find people, like, in that, like, realm. Like, if I'm going to talk about, if you want to talk about. I definitely. I don't even know. Want people to come on that are educated about the topic they're yeah. wanting to debate. Well, then, are you going to give enough time to George this? <laughs> yeah. To educate himself, or are you just kind of on the, no, on the whim? I I think it'll be, even if. Even if we find out four days in advance who's coming on mm-hmm. and what the topic is, I think George will be able to bullshit his way through it. You know, and that's the kind of the whole point for him. He's gonna just get better and better at manipulating <laughs> and bullshitting people. You know, and yeah. then it's a master class for us because we get to see it live and in person. And and I'm just editing it over and over. There's so it's no like, fights. Hopefully I don't think there will be. Yeah. Well, if I was on, I would probably fight it. <laughs> See, but that's going to happen. You're yeah. going to go on at some point. John I don't know. John already uh, reserved a spot. Uh, oh, to Lord. Go on. What is he going to be debating know. about? Now, I am the type of person, I avoid conflict. Yeah. And, like, arguing is a conflict for me. Yeah. Because if I feel like I'm getting beat up on, like, verbally, mm-hmm. I just lash out. Yeah. So, I don't... I just... I don't I'm not going to put myself in that position. I I'm not the same way. I'm you you know this. If I'm wrong, I can admit it. You admit you're wrong, but then you give like 7,000 reasons why you think you're right. No, no, no that's not true at all. <laughs> not true at all. But like George is definitely going to make people feel the way you say because like I'll sit here wearing this black shirt and George will try to manipulate me and make me feel bad and make me think this is a white shirt I got on. So he's a bully. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> it's an argumentative no, bully. No, for sure. So I could see some people maybe wanting to fight him, mm-hmm. but I do. Hey, I, hey, I'm going to predict content. this. It's great content. <laughs> I'm going to predict this. I guarantee, and George is a nice guy. I, I don't think he would do it intentionally, but I guarantee we're going to have some of – the female uh, debaters go on the show and George is going to make at least two females, maybe even two males cry. I don't know. About out of the debate. I think so. 
Because you got to think, could. If, if they're getting very invested into it emotionally, like the argument, George is not going to pull back because he feels like they're getting emotional. He's going to double down probably, and then that's going to lead to. Where are you going to do it at? I don't know yet. You're just going to just find it on the street, just like, all right, we're going to debate no, on the, so the we're basketball gonna, court. We're going to have a social media base. Mm-hmm. So we'll put out fillers basically. You should be like, hey. Like, tell us where we should go next, because, like, yeah. whatever person wants to debate, like, we'll come to you and debate you. Yeah. Just don't go to nobody's house. Cause yeah, hell no. <laughs> I don't know. Even the people we have on, we're going to vet them pretty pretty good. Like, I don't want it to just end up being some crazy guy with the the best conspiracy theory, you know, that thinks Ooh, he knows That's everything. on my notes, too. <laughs> oh, conspiracy oh, theories. Oh, my God. Um, so, then you got that. So, you got the girls show. Uh-huh. And that's just going to be about topics that they kind of want to talk about, like what females go through, social issues, life. stuff like that. Yeah. And then the cannabis one. Was yeah. it called High Times or something? High Times with the Fam. High Times with the Fam. Yeah. Now that you that you're going to have to talk about that one. So that is something that I've been thinking about doing for a very long time. Mm-hmm. But hey, ladies and gentlemen, it is legal in Missouri. Yeah, so. yeah. no, it, it, so it's going to be he's all doing is legal. on the so, up and up. But yeah. like, because I'm trying to build this network into like a corporate entity, mm-hmm. I've always been on the fence about it. Fence about what? About doing this show. Yeah, because it involves uh, cannabis, and I feel like more know. people are coming with the times. Yeah, yeah, and like it's it's legal in majority of the states now. I'm pretty sure it's not the not majority, but isn't most. it more than 25 states are legal? Check it. <laughs> but anyways, it's like because it's becoming legal in more states. But uh, another reason why I was reserved about it is because it involves uh, some of the cousins in my family that are you know cannabis enthusiasts. Mm-hmm. Put it that way, and. Uh, just showcasing my family, which, you know, represents me, really. Uh, it was always just a worry for me just because they're all crazy and and outgoing. And, yeah, and, and uh, you got eight people on. And, yeah, and the show is going to consist of eight people, yeah. Are you going to be helping out with this? Uh, from time to time, yeah. Do what? Time to time, yeah, I will be, yeah. That's a lot of people. Yeah, but, like... It, it's going to be a different change of pace for the network that we have because, like, the shows we have now, like, the the ones we've had for a while now, they're uh, interview style, you know, and that's one style of podcast, but we want to branch out and do different styles and go to different audiences and whatnot, so mm-hmm. it's going to be something that uh, puts us in the eyes of a lot of people that we weren't before, so. That'd be good. Yeah. So that's starting tonight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. First show. So tonight. when are you gonna air it? Friday. And so when? Damn. Yeah. Friday. Yeah. yeah. Like last, tomorrow? Technically, or not tomorrow? It'll be last Friday because I'm gonna I'm gonna drop this one on uh, Tuesday morning. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. So, what what made you come up with the idea of that? My when I say my cousins are so entertaining, like just to be around. Like, your stomach will hurt from laughing so much Mm -hmm. that that's just how they've always been. And, like, I'm the youngest of all of them. So you got to think this is, like, late 20s to mid-30s, mid-30-year-olds getting together. All all family. Oh, so they're not older. They're all older. 20 to 30s? There's probably, like, one, couple 40-year-olds in there, too. But you calling 40-year-olds old now? I see how you are. (laughs) I didn't say it. Yeah, you, you said did. it. No, you no, older no, no. people. You, you alluded to it. I didn't <laughs> say it. I didn't say it. Um, but, yeah, so, like, all of our personalities clashing together on camera and a little more controlled because, like, I already talked to everybody about censoring themselves and, you know, not saying too much outlandish stuff. Mm-hmm. But, like, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to feel like, like you hanging out with your boys here, just shooting the shit, bullshitting. But just high. Just high, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's going to make it even better because, you know, it's a little unpredictable. Yeah, so I don't know how you are when you partake in the devil's mm-hmm. lettuce, but if I do it, 
I don't get talkative. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so is that like a worry? No. I would say because I, I have about 78 first cousins, right? Jesus. Yes. Yeah. A true Mexican family. And I would say probably a third of them have been smokers for 10 plus years. So all of us are pretty functioning, uh-huh. but some of us are <clears throat> more frequently than others. So some of us will be a little quiet, but others will be able to just function regularly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which that, I, I think that's where I lie, is on the functioning side. The functioning side? Yeah. yeah. See, I would be like, yeah. the whole time. Yeah, no, no. You better have plenty of food, too. <sighs> I was thinking about taking pizzas up there. But yeah. Well, <laughs> Like every, you're gonna eight people high, they're gonna be hungry. Yeah, I need a little Caesar sponsorship. Five for <laughs> is it five bucks for large? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's cheap. It's cheap. I don't need a sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> so, what made you come up with this whole idea of starting podcasts? Not starting, but uh, producing them and filming them. And so, me and Mark and my sister Mia, uh, we started a podcast back in 2020. Uh-huh. And that was started because uh, me and my brother initially wanted to start one. And he wanted to put on uh, music artists, like, in the in the KC area on and just showcase them. And I, I told him, I was just like, I think we should, like, broaden the spectrum and have, like, everybody, including music artists as well, but, like, business owners, artists, uh, like, painters, stuff like that. Uh-huh. Uh, and he ended up passing in 2019. And then a year, uh, or, like, Months after that, uh, COVID happened, and then we got our stimulus checks, and then I used that stimulus check to invest in some cryptocurrencies. Ugh. And then, why would you do that? And then I ended up making like nineteen grand off, okay. of, off of the stimulus check. Okay, <laughs> so kudos it, to you. Yeah, no. So it ended up working. Hopefully, you got out of that. Yeah, and then so we had a little money. I I made my own investments, but then I went to Mark and Mia. And was like, hey, let's let's all invest in getting this nice equipment and these these good mics and good cameras and uh let's start a podcast and just bring on people from around Kansas City. And so we did that and it ended up being like the perfect thing for us because for one, me and my sister were going through a really rough time. So as you know, podcasts can be very like therapeutic. It's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And like there was there was times where like with it being so recent to to my brother I, there was times where I would like you know get emotional and stuff and mm-hmm. like it was really a great outlet for me. When did you start it? Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. October twenty twenty. Jesus. Until a year after all that stuff yeah. happened. Yeah. And then um, so like the emotion that went into it on our side and how much we enjoyed it, along with uh, people liking the quality. Like, you get compliments on this, and, like, we get compliments on I-70 about the look and feel of it. And, mm-hmm. like, that's what we've always taken pride on since we started our show. Um, but because of all that, we realized that, like, we we had uh, aspirations to actually do this for other people. So that's how it kind of initially started. And you had quite a few, like, yeah. at the beginning. Yeah. So in the be- the very beginning, like... When we first started doing shows for other people, we had uh, one called First Cup KC that was hosted by one of my mentors, uh, Chuck Doyle. And then uh, shortly after that, we started a big modcast with Mark's dad. And then after that, we added like five more shows. Mm -hmm. So at one point, we had eight shows going along with our own podcast. Yeah. Yeah. So we we had the ball up and rolling, but... In that time, there was a lot of like learning for us to do, and and uh, experiencing and failing, and uh, choosing the wrong people, and different things along that nature. I know when you guys contacted me about doing a podcast here, I didn't think it was going to be like a real deal podcast. Right. I think that's how most people think, especially when they yeah. come in here and they do our podcast. Yeah. They're like, oh, you guys have, like, a legit setup. Right. I even thought that. I was like, right. oh, they just want to come in and just have a little camera on the stand yep. and do a podcast. And 
and then you got this random young kid just coming yep. up and asking. I didn't didn't trust you at first. Yeah, yeah. Not gonna lie. No, I believe it. Yeah, <laughs> I got I got Dave to trust me faster than you. For he sure. did, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> he was like, "Hey, they want to do a podcast." I was like, "No." Well, was there any conversations like, "What do you think about this kid?" Yeah, yeah. No, I asked because I didn't know who you were. So, so what did Dave say? Uh, he, I don't know about it. <laughs> no, no, Dave, Dave, he clearly invested in you. Yeah. Because I, I, I kind of left it up to him because mm-hmm. he met you before I did. Yeah. And then you guys were in here before, like, I met you. Because you guys did it just a one-off at first. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, I don't know. Let me just make sure. It. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, what do you think? Because I was very iffy about it. Because. Yeah. This place, I wanted to make sure that it's kind of like I don't want to disturb all my 100%. clients. And, yeah, and I felt the same way. Yeah, and like I, I even like talked to uh, Dave before because I came in and we seen the spot, and I was all like, I seventy is a, you know, it's a, it's a, a uh, how do you say? Put it this way: He gets loud. Yes, his energy, his energy, <laughs> high does not energetic fit. show. Yeah, his energy does not fit the ambiance in no. here at all. So that worried me a little bit, and I, I made sure to talk with him about it before we shot and all that. I was like, "Hey, like, just like you got, we got to be weary. This is not our spot. You know, you got to treat mm-hmm. it with respect. And if he has people in here, you know, not cursing all crazy and doing mm-hmm. all this, but you know, it, it, in, uh, inevitably." He got comfortable. <laughs> yeah. It gets pretty loud on Saturdays, but so how long you been rolling with John John for? Uh coming on two years now. He's eighty two episodes in. Damn. How many we are? Fifty something? Fifty two. This is fifty two. I'm catching yeah. up. You're thirty exactly behind. I'm catching up. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I'll ever reach un- it. Unless he stops. You're unless, not catching yeah, up. No. <laughs> so I wanted to bring up the whole cannabis stuff. So what are your thoughts on it for it? Would you rather it having it legal like nationwide or would you rather it being a state thing like it is now? Because it's, I, it's, it's eventually it's going to be illegal everywhere, but well, it's going to take some time because coming from former police officer mm-hmm. and someone that's used you've used before mm-hmm. and I, I've used arrest him. Arrest him. <laughs> yeah. I've used, like, you know, now that I'm retired, and yeah. it's very beneficial. Right, I don't right. use it all the time. Right. I don't do, I don't smoke every day and stuff like that. But, right. like, I see the pros from it. Mm-hmm. I definitely do. Yeah. And I was very weary of it as a cop, just because you're kind of taught to drug. Drugs mm-hmm. are bad. Yeah. Simple as that. And, you, but once you actually kind of try it, which I'm not going to tell cop, you know, every cop, like, hey, just try the drugs first yeah. before you... <laughs> Try the meth, and then, then you make your decision. <laughs> yeah, but like it definitely has its good benefits, and right. I don't see I, the, the pros outweigh the cons for me. Yeah. So I guess how do you feel about it? So I think the problem with it being uh, up to the state is there's less regulation. Like there's regulation on it, but like put it this way: the the price can vary based on the state you're in or the area of the state you're in. So, like, I went to uh, Pueblo, Colorado, the like, a couple weekends ago, and their their weed was cheaper than Colorado Springs or Denver weed because they were a smaller city and they were away from the farms or something like that. Mm-hmm. And because of that, their prices were, like, half of what Denver is, and their taxes weren't as high either. And I think that's a bad thing to have it be so different throughout the state. I think if you had a federal, it had it be a federal thing, then they could treat it like alcohol in the sense that the price isn't going to vary based on the state you're in. Taxes don't have to be super high because if it's nationwide and everybody's going to the dispensaries, the taxes are going to like tax money is going to be it's going to be there for the mm-hmm. states to like use for roads, schools, whatever the case may be. But I just think when it's when it's left up to the states, it's too it varies too much and there's too much room for error, too much room for um just crap weed and like <laughs> crap weed. It's, it's a it's a lot of different factors, but I think if it was federally legal it would be way 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 better and safety reasons too, like I 
it's it's way better to it's safer to get from the dispensaries where their grows have to be regulated mm-hmm. and they have to go through all sorts of checks and balances and you know that there's not going to be fentanyl out. when you're getting from you know off the street you're you don't know for sure you know I, I, I would be surprised if people still buy it from the street. It, if it was federally legal, I don't think they would. I mean, but even now, I mean, well, I've, I'm assuming that some states don't have it to where, like, we're so damn close to Missouri. So that let me just, ask you. Put yourself in a smoker's shoes really quick. Smoker's shoes. Yeah. Okay. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Some, some, <laughs> some no, Crocs. Okay. So yeah, you have, Crocs. You have uh, say, uh, an eighth is a popular uh, amount to uh-huh. get. It's three and a half grams. <laughs> okay. How much is, yeah, yeah, you want to keep going? I'm letting you know. The size and the weight. So, and so the- <laughs> three and a half grams on the street, mm-hmm. about 30 bucks. Mm-hmm. Okay. You go to dispensary, you're paying 65 70 Sure. Are you going to go to dispensary or get off street? Same I mean, quality. I, Sometimes street is better. <laughs> you're asking me as a smoker, to if, put, I, yeah, if I was a smoker. In their shoes. Me being me, I would go to the dispensary because I'm not going to risk getting safety. Getting yeah, exactly. Okay. Getting arrested or getting caught okay. or something. Most people aren't thinking That's, about well, that. Well, they're stupid. Yeah, to an extent. That's the con. Yeah, you smoke no. enough. You sometimes you. I don't, I don't got think that. so. Look at Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yes. Billionaire. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, but I don't think that's because of weed, though. I think it had a big. If if he wasn't a pothead. Yes, I mean that's a lot of his his yeah, personality. His, that's his whole thing. Yes, he has a big endorsement because he's a smoker. Yes, yeah. true. But I think he's now he's to the point where he probably doesn't do anything to him. Like I uh, think he, he smoked enough to where he's got to smoke a lot. I think for him to feel. It. I think his smoking is more so he's not angry because that's a thing. So just like when you're deprived of food, there's there's such thing as a a, a weed anger too. Excuse me? Yeah. That have you can't not, be real. Have you not dealt with anybody that's a smoke? Not that gets angry if they haven't smoked. So, like, and people who have smoked can vouch for this. If if someone's a smoker where they smoke every day and say they go three days without smoking, on that third day, they're pissed. Like, they're just in a bad mood. Just because they haven't had Yeah, it. and it's kind of a withdrawal so thing. Yeah, that's what to say. No, it is. And it's it's a drug. It's not it's not, not a drug. Like, it's if it's mind-altering, it's a drug. Mm-hmm. And... It is, and it's beneficial for a lot of people, but I'm also in the in the group that it's not for everybody. Yeah. As you know, you know. So, like, I don't know. It's just. So, if your daughter comes up to you. What age? <laughs> 16. Yeah. She's like, hey, can I smoke? 100%. What's the age you're going to say no? 15. <laughs> 15? Well, no, yeah. they, well, I just want to play it safe. We're going to go with that. No, but only because, like, um, and, like, my dad did it with us in beer. So, like, he, he made it to where we learned how to drink casually with him only. Mm-hmm. So, like, by the time we were of age to drink uh, legally, we weren't tra- we, we we're weren't trying dumb to get enough. drunk every single well, night. Well, I think it is, like, people who don't have the same experience I did, go in and they just like end up getting blacked out or or just a little too drunk because they can't handle their alcohol yet mm-hmm. they they don't understand it yet and that leads to a lot of bad shit like i had a buddy in college who i tell the story all the time his parents were the type that didn't let him do anything like uh, oh yeah they wild the fuck out yeah his 21st birthday he drank from 11 a.m to uh, 11 p.m like straight and we ended up having to carry him to the hospital, blood running down his nose, and turned out his blood alcohol level was 2.4. He just went too hard, but he didn't 2. have... 2.4. 2.4. So he's almost deaf. Almost deaf. Like, yeah. it was bad. Like, I sh- I'll show you the picture after. He had the shirt cut off, blood all over his chest. Like, it was bad. And it was just from drinking. But, like, if... I really think like parents should I I'm a parent, so I could talk, guys. I, I'm yeah, young. Well, but here I'm a we parent. Go. Yeah. I'm a parent. Make sure you cut this one out, man. No, 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 for real. <laughs> so like a lot of parents don't want to be friends with their kids. hmm But uh I'm at a in my head I'm thinking like from the ages of one to fourteen, it should be all uh 
discipline and, you know, morals, just education, basically, for your kid. Mm -hmm. Like, you're not their friend at that point. You're supposed to be guidance, uh, their teacher, their, their everything, like, to help them get through life. And then I think from 14 on, you should be their friend. So... Okay. As long as I, I think as long as you go for those first 14 years and you're just educating the right way, not with anger, not with any, anything else. Like if you're educating them by the time they're 14, they will be open and honest with you. Like you said, if they come, they would come to you and say, Hey, I want to try marijuana. My sure. friends all do it. And I don't want to do it with them because it, I'm scared or whatever. I'd prefer to do it with you. I would say thank God that I they gotta get like to smoke with my dog. No, I would say thank God that like <clears throat> she yeah, is she, comfortable enough she, yeah, yeah. to come to me and say that, you know. So I think more parents should befriend their kids once they get past a certain age mm-hmm. because it's going to benefit them later on because you want them to be able to go in the world without you having to worry about them, you know. No teenager wants to smoke with their parent at fourteen. He said that's corny. Right? <laughs> She's not going to want to smoke with you. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Dad. <laughs> no, I, I desperately did. I wish that would have been awesome. And and like I heard about some of my friends that their parents were those friends, and like they did allow them to do it in the house with them. And like I see myself being that same way, just because yeah, you're, you're a little different. I don't see it going anywhere. Like uh, so weed my, in my life. My thing is, I I agree with you. There comes a point in time where not their friend, you're their parent. Mm-hmm. But I think there's there's no age limit to it. I think it's you can start becoming a friend to your kid as soon as they're grown enough to where you ain't got to worry about them. Right, right, right. I don't think 14 is grown enough. But I get what you're saying. And I agree with you. If there was if there was no proper education. And, True. Yeah. Like, because there's, there's bad parenting and good parenting. Like, and we all, I feel like everybody... Uh, goes through a little bit of both throughout their parenthood, you know, just we all learn as we go. Mm -hmm. Um, But if, if you can execute that first 14 years, I, at 14, I knew right from wrong, you know, like, here we go. Now I I went with the wrong a lot because (laughs) the wrong is more fun sometimes. But like, if you grow up and you know that you, you're not scared of getting in trouble with your parents. Mm-hmm. You're more of like, oh, I could go to my parents if I get into some type of trouble, you know, and them not be angry. Like, I I would hate for my daughter to be scared to come to me and tell me that um, she freaking got pulled over when she was driving and she had a, a joint on her or something like mm-hmm. that, you know, and she was too scared to call me. I'd be pissed, you know. So it's like I laugh in that scenario because I guarantee you. She goes, "It's not mine. Whose is it? My dad's. My dad's. dad's. <laughs> I, I would one hundred percent. I would take the. It's blame. his car. It's everything. Yeah, I would one hundred percent take the blame. Mark, what do you think about all this? You know what I think? Uh, I think weed was more fun when it was uh, illegal. That's my two cents. <laughs> <laughs> there's, you know, that risk in it. That's, what, that's lot, what made it fun. Yeah, that danger factor. When makes you're it dr- tastes better. When you were driving back from Colorado, you know, those eight hours, and you're worried about whether or not you can get pulled over because you got so much <laughs> in your car. That was that's where the fun was. That's I don't where know the what magic. You're about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, how do we do it? You said uh, we had one car in front. <laughs> also, like the benefits. If, if it was like federally legal, and they, it used to be mandated that every farmer grew hemp. On their farms, they used, that used to be a federal mandate. Mm-hmm. If they went back to that, there's so much shit that could be made, like construction rope. stuff. Like there, you could build houses. You say out, rope, rope. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you could build houses out of hemp, and like they they make they manufacture like basically puzzle piece foundation. Uh, That's wild. That, I'm not gonna get a house made of hemp. No, and it's it's a uh, fire resistant. It won't burn or anything. I'm not, I know. I, I don't care what it's fire resistant. I'm not getting a house made. Of hemp. Why? That's stupid. Why? Why is that stupid? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Why? Tell me. Tell me one. I don't. Because w- I it's would not rather stink. Like no, I don't think it. Was, I don't care if it stinks. <laughs> okay, good. I just don't want it to fall down. Okay. I don't think it would. You don't think it will? You think no. it's more sturdy than brick or wood? I think it's as sturdy. And they say that it's more. Uh, it's more insulated for your house. So like uh, your your electric bill isn't going to be as high and stuff because you don't have to work overtime. To I want you out. to, be, when you build your first house, I will build. If build it's it available to me, I will do it. A hundred percent. 
It, you, and it's, it's gonna cheaper. be like it's gonna be like you're gonna have you're gonna have like Willy Wonka house. You're no. gonna be like taking pieces off of it every once in a while. No, no. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. A little bit of sawdust, that like would, you start yeah. sanding the wall. No, and that would paper. be sick. That would be that's an invention right there, Mike. You're on to something. Oh, please no. <laughs> so I see that everyone survived the election. It'll be good. It'll be good. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna talk too much about okay. it. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, not definitely Whoa. not bringing that up. No. But let's say this. Uh huh. If you were president, yep. What's one thing that you would make legal or not legal? Not legal. Legal or not legal, whatever. Don't go weed. That's a cop out. Okay. Uh, I was about to make a joke. That was bad. Yeah, do it. No, no. <laughs> Let's see. I'd probably make it. I don't know. Cause like. Uh, that's a good, good question. That's a huh? great question. I wouldn't. Hmm. They could be something stupid. Mark, you got one? I'd make yeah. vaccines uh vaccines illegal, illegal to to mandate them. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know. I just uh, threw out something. What you got, Mark? Oh, I I uh, I would do immigration. That'd be my thing. Immigration? Yeah. Ooh, that's a hot topic. Why are you laughing, Ethan? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Elaborate. Uh I would say, um, so you know, we do it Hunger Game style. So if they oh, want, God. if they want to come in, you know, they gotta they gotta fight for this it. This is Mark. <laughs> this is the this is Mark's opinion. My only problem with immigration is that you just can't let everybody in. That's why they're gonna fight for it. <laughs> yeah, like I, we want the best of the best. <laughs> but, but here's another thing that kind of counters my argument. Like in Europe and other places, you can just go to country and country without worrying about it. Yeah. So I don't know how you get to that point here. Do you need a travel visa? To travel in those countries? I, that's a good question. I don't think so. I don't Because you need a passport for sure. You need a passport to go to the country. Right. But your passport over there is like your ID. Yeah. But I don't think that, and I, I, don't, I might be wrong, but I don't think like if you're in Italy, you, like, you can just go to Spain. Is it legal for, say, uh, uh, a Mexican family wants to vacation up here in the United States? Is they, it legal? They all have their passports. Or they can just come in, right? No due process. Yeah, you get right? like a travel visa. Yeah, yeah. But you got to go like, back. Like they just go through customs at our airport, and that's it, right? Yeah, but you, but you got to go back. Yeah, but like, how easy would it be oh, to like, not? A go lot of back? times they don't go back. Yeah, yeah. yeah you could do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, are you free trying- game? No, I'm just. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see. I'd make it illegal to not own a gun. Make it illegal to not own a gun. Yeah. If you're if you own so a house, you have, have to, to have a gun. If you, you own a household, you gun. have to have a gun. Why would you want to put guns in everyone's hands? I think it I think it'd be beneficial if every single person in America had a gun. I don't think it would. I've met a lot of stupid people. Oh, you're I right. I don't ever no, want no, them to have a gun. You're right on the stupid <laughs> people part, but I for every stupid person there's a smart person. Oh, here you know, we go. So, <laughs> so like we can't the, just the east side the philosophy discredit over. everybody else because of some stupid people. Yeah, I don't know. I th- <laughs> I think no, it's more, I think it's more like ten stupid people to one smart person. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't want to believe that statistic right there, Mark. And that's why you're in the ten percent. Yep, you're ten percent. You're oh wait, wait. oh you're, uh, <laughs> you're one of those ten no, people. I, I had to think about it for a second. <laughs> Asshole. Uh, yeah, I don't. Up, oh, things are falling. Ghost. Everything's breaking. Uh, yeah. No. What, what would you make illegal or not legal or, or illegal? Or, uh, you know what? I I like. <laughs> I'm so, kind of saying this kiddingly, say jokingly, it. sure. But <laughs> like, if there was like a purge day, that'd be great. Oh God! No, my. God. Well, okay. Well, when, you, when you say the purge day, do you mean like the killing part, or just the one day where all everything is legal for a day? Do you think that would really work? I don't. <laughs> That's why it's not legal. Yeah, no, no, no. All the, all the ramifications, is. like you can't, you're gonna, you're well, not you gonna hold it legal a grudge. for a day. I think it kind of settled people down. Think about the destruction, though. I, I think that's. I don't think they, a lot of people would. Destroy do they a lot talk of about that in in the purge movies? I, like the, sure. the cleanup always, after? <laughs> yeah, the cleanup be kind of messed up. Because, like, to be honest with you, I I already know they have robots, like in in our w- real world, that will go up and sweep a body off the ground. What? 
In like, the con- hell are you talking? Have you about? not seen that? There's no. a, there's a conveyor belt system where it's like a ramp. Well, Esai has it sounds like a conspiracy. Esai has the most fucked up Instagram reel no. stuff. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's just Facebook more. Facebook what? has terrible stuff on. No. it. No, no, but it was made. No, no. They showed it for the purpose of uh, actual like, uh, you know how you have to get someone on a gurney, like as an EMT sure. or whatever. Yeah. This is like a more advanced gurney. But I'm you, saying you like just pick them up. What I'm the, saying a cleanup for a purge would consist of picking up bodies, uh, cleaning up burned buildings, maybe uh, broken glass. Yeah, but see, if you you, I don't think you have that much destruction because like you're able to defend that building or whatever if you want to. Yeah, but people you aren't going to go around a, a freaking uh, Molotov <laughs> coming at your at your building. Yeah, you can stop the person if you see him. I mean, you, yeah, if you see him, you that's a big shoot if. Shoot you want. Yeah, 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 that's a big if. But like, <laughs> there's going to be destruction. So like, I don't know if they weighed in the the cost to like you know the cost benefit of doing that because that's like that's like a lot With of the profit loss margin. Yeah, of, yeah, <laughs> like, wait, like, guys, let's. Yeah, maybe it shouldn't be legal. Like everybody gets to you know. <laughs> Let all their anger out, no, but what's the call? <laughs> I don't know what I would do, like, making something legal or illegal. That's, that is a good question. I, I don't know. I would, um, I don't know. It would probably. Can like, I hit you with a crazy one? Go ahead. I would make cigarettes and uh, nicotine vapes illegal. That's fine. Come smoke cigars. Yeah. I'm good with that. Cigarettes only, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, get rid of cigarettes. Yeah. It's bad for you. Come smoke cigars. I think those... At the shop cigar lounge. That industry is too big, though, huh? <laughs> it is huge, yeah. Like, to ever go away. At the end. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, they have too much money. That's crazy. I think it's... I don't know if it's true, but I heard a rumor that, you know, those all those non-smoking ads that mm-hmm. the smoking people have to put that on. Yeah. Like, that's like one it's of the... It's the same thing with gambling. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. 1-800-BETS-OFF on every single... You know, uh, ad for... Casino. We had... When I was working in jail, we had a... I'm out of there so I can talk about this stuff now. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't come and get me. But, no, we had a lady that she would come in all the time. She she got banned from the casino because she, like, was an addict, and she called herself in and stuff like that. So they banned her. So every time she went in, they arrested her. So she'd come in just because she'd go to the casino. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. They stopped me again, yeah. Mike. <laughs> Stop me. I can't gamble. I don't. I don't yeah. even like losing twenty dollars. That's ridiculous. Yeah. To me. I just lost fifty on a blackjack table. I can't even. And so that's another thing. If I go to a, like casino, like I don't know all the rules. You're a slots guy, aren't you? I'm not even a slot. I, I, I'm a penny slots. Yeah, Dirty yeah, little yeah. slot. Yeah, but Dirty. if you like, <laughs> if you play blackjack, like there's so many like different rules, and like if you don't know them, everyone gets upset at you. You don't know. Yeah, them. I don't it's, even it's like, like sit a, the table. It's more of an etiquette rather than a. Yeah, and I don't want to be at the know? table. Like now, what do I do? Yeah, what do well, I do that's now? The cool thing. I I personally, if I was a casino, I'd be like, hey, cut that shit out. <laughs> but I, I like it that the people at your table, at a blackjack table, could help you out. <coughs> like, they could be like, hey. No, they could help you out, but there's a lot of people that, that don't or, oh, split want to that, help you out. You know? Yeah, no, there's people that don't, but, like, those are just the assholes that are trying to make some money, you know. I got fucked over at a blackjack the last time I went because my dealer, they switched it out. I got oh, like the, I hate that. Yeah, the, I got the, like, the Persian guy who didn't speak English uh, at the very end. And we were doing cards, and he gave me a like he was pushing cards without saying like whether or not you want to hit it. He's like he's like oh you got fifteen here, and he threw another card. I said oh, no, you got no. I was like I was like whoa, was like, I, was, ah, I didn't ah, even ah, test. Bite. Yeah, <laughs> literally, like he kept pushing out cards to everybody. I was like oh my god, this feels like now they're actually yeah, trying over. to help you. <laughs> you could you could invite that type of stuff. They usually help you out because they want you spending money. That's what you should do if you get a lot of money. Open a casino. Yeah, that would be cool. But we got Native honest, American in this. How how do you feel about that? Like, there's there's some moral problems with me when it comes to people who make casinos or people. What's well, moral who, about it? If you want to go in and go in, yeah, no, like you're providing what they want for sure. But like, no one's you're forcing providing you a, to gamble. No one is. Yeah, a hundred percent. I I. That's the part that I understand, but like, you're providing this this vice that ruins well, people's lives. Just take it. I'll get you later. You good on everything else? You got nine. You got. I got. I gave you all the top ones. So, oh yeah, those big huge boxes that are. Yeah, <laughs> I got you. 
No, I, I sold one. I haven't. The other two are not. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'll get you next time. Yeah. Well, you're good. But, like, it's just the uh, providing that advice to people and, like, knowing knowing that there's people problem. out there that have problems that ruin their families, that yeah but alcohol alcohol does the same thing Uh, and it goes to that too yeah like anything that can be abused in a negative way and it's still allowed out there it's like they're taking advantage of people's uh weaknesses how do you regulate that because they're grown adults yeah no that's you don't want the government stepping in so you can and can't do something yeah i don't know that that's that is the hard part because it'd have to be like some sort of, and there's no way to over, like for, for any oversight. There's mm-hmm. no way. So I don't know, but stuff like that is. Would always you lower like, the drinking age to eighteen? I I I would personally part for the partly for the same reason I said before about learning early. Because I think if you lowered it to eighteen, then people would stop. People start drinking at eighteen regardless now. Yeah, it doesn't really. But if you moved it to eighteen, then I think people would start drinking at like sixteen. Yeah, you know, but and my whole my biggest deal with that is not biggest deal, I guess, not negative, but I have the whole like idea of if you can go fight for our country right, right. at eighteen, you should be able to drink. Yeah, which no, is I'm ridiculous. with that too. Yeah, but like uh, at least if they started drinking earlier than eighteen, if it was back at eighteen. Hopefully, your, your hopefully. kid's gonna be smoking, drinking by age thirteen, yeah. shooting no. up heroin. Oh, hey, God. No. Talk See, to me before you do it. Do you, do, they would do how it much together. Time do we have Mark? What's the time at? Uh, fifty three. We're at fifty three. Do, do we have time to talk well, about gateways? No way. We're at. We're well, almost at an hour. Yeah, well, I mean, we we had like five minutes in the beginning, and then like another like five minutes, and yeah, we're pretty. Oh, much. so we're I mean, like forty. We're, yeah, we're like forty. Forty five. Yeah. yeah, but like we can talk about gateways, right? Move on. I don't care. Get well, gateway well, like, did, this is this because I don't conversation. Believe, so like, what gateway drugs have you tried, sir? That's, that's don't say that. Isn't, isn't, you you got a company that you got to yeah, no, no. <laughs> weed the first. No, no, no I'm not weed the technical I, I, gateway. I'll be open and honest because like I, if anyone were were to judge me for the stuff I did, I wouldn't want to associate with a person like that anyway. Because like, Vicodin? I'd rather be judged off the character of myself yeah. rather than. Uh, things I did or whatever, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, but like, people say marijuana is a gateway drug. I don't believe that. Do you? I believe so. Tell me how. Because marijuana is a more socially accepted drug that people use, mm-hmm. and that it's available to most people. Mm-hmm. And normally, you start off with something small, and then you kind of gradually grow. If you want to do that. I'm not saying every yeah. marijuana user is going to start doing cocaine or something. So, but I would say that most users of drugs that are harder drugs probably start off using marijuana. I believe it was like that. At or some start point. using any kind of recreational yeah. drug that is easier to get. At one point, I believe it was like that. But I think in today's society, with access to the internet like we have it, and access to see people on these other drugs, the harder ones, the the ones that, you know, the gateway opens or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think in today's society, once people try marijuana and see the harmlessness of it, they're fine with that. Now, there are people out yeah, there. Yeah, but people want to no, reach. There, there's RP, there are people out there that need something more. You yeah. know, they always want more. But there's also people that... They try marijuana. Yeah. They like it. The high is good. It's mm-hmm. great. And then something else, they're like, this high is even better. So they want to try it. Yeah, and but. They're searching for that, like that whole typical trying to chase the dragon. There's not a, there, there's a <laughs> lot of drugs out there. You, you never <laughs> catch it. <laughs> I gotta get you. There's, there's a lot of drugs out there, but there's not enough that people are too, too curious anymore because Everyone's we, curious. No, but listen, look, everybody has seen the effects of cocaine. Everybody understands the effects of heroin. Everybody understands the effects <laughs> of meth. Everybody. Well, okay. N- not everybody. Some people grow up in a coddled home that mm-hmm. aren't open or privy to any of that stuff. But 
majority of people that are in society, like actually participate in society, understand how terrible those are because one, they've probably seen it movies, TV, whatever. But also, they probably have a, a family member who's addicted to cocaine or a family member whose life got ruined by heroin or, or whatever the case may be. So, like I said, when they see the harmlessness of marijuana, I think in today's society, it's not, look, it's not used as a gateway drug. It's more used as a recreational. I get you. I yeah. understand that. Yeah. yeah. See what you mean. All right. Since we're running short on time, mm-hmm. I want to ask a couple more questions. Oh, there's George, finally. But uh, it looks like a homeless person. <clears throat> Conspiracy theories. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. What's the most wild one that you believe in? Or not even have to be wild, but like, what's the, like in? the for sure one that you're like, this is not a conspiracy theory. This is real. That I believe. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, I'll go with a simple one. Here we go. Because what's the I, don't wanna, one? I don't want to be made out to be a crazy person. Uh, the most simple one that I believe happened 100% and know it happened 100% was uh, MK Ultra and the use of... That's not a conspiracy theory. But it is, though, because no, they happened. haven't flat out came out and said, yeah, the CIA used a- acid to, they to did. drug people. They have? Yeah. Okay, let me think of a different one, then. They, released the, they yeah. released the documents, but they don't publicize it. True. There's no propaganda behind it. Like, Give me another one. Uh, Y'all heard about these Amber Alerts? Oh, Ooh. don't start Ooh, Wait, wait, that. wait. No, I got a good one. I got no. a good one. <laughs> Thank you. I, like, I forgot what the project was called. You project might, X. You might be able to help me. But Project Runway. Nick, I believe it truly Project happened. Project Runway, yeah. Nikola Tesla figured out Free energy? either time travel wow. or... No, listen, listen, listen. There's a story behind it. Either time travel or teleportation. Why One of those. in the world would you so think listen, that? So listen, no. Tesla had a machine that supposedly he cracked the code to time travel, right? Okay. And they were on a ship. And the ship disappeared off the ocean. Was it called the Titanic? No, no, no. And it came back, though, to the same spot, except they say people were... They were seven years older. No, they were, like, welded into the ship. Like, they, like, morphed into they it. Phased. They what? phased. They phased into it. So, like, arms were sticking out of the wall, stuff like that. Is, did that happen on Star Wars? <laughs> well, no, that, that, oh, no, that's, that's different. different. <laughs> that's that, was, different. that was a carbon... No, the, he yeah, was freezing he's got carbon. Oxidized. But if yeah. someone if someone could find that story, that's a that's a real story. I've heard of it. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's what? a real story that happened. But I I truly believe Nikola Tesla was that story. much of a genius. I don't think that's a real story that happened at all. You don't have to believe. You asked me. Got the, the the ship got transported. <laughs> yeah, it was no longer in the location. And then it just came back, and, and, and came people back. were in the walls. People you know crazy people that morphed sounds? in. Yeah, it sounds insanely crazy. Yeah, but I well, I was gonna go like more like we didn't land on the moon. Like, that's more feasible. You're like, transportation's real. Nikola Tesla figured it out. <laughs> People were in the walls. No, no, no. Like, uh, Nikola. <laughs> People were in the walls. Nikola Tesla was a genius. Yeah. Like, insane genius. <clears throat> like, he, he was able to provide wireless electricity for a whole town. Mm-hmm. And then they tore it down. You were watching The Prestige, weren't you? I haven't seen that. Ooh. Oh, good movie. Good movie. Is that about Tesla? No, but it has Tesla in it. Oh, you haven't no. seen the Prestige? Uh-uh. It has transportation in it too. It's uh, in it? it's um Christian Bale and um, Hugh, Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Ooh, and it's a Christopher Nolan movie. You haven't yeah. seen that? You haven't seen anything? What do you do when you go home? You just look at the wall. It's all about How'd you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about cloning and magic. Uh-huh. Well, don't don't ruin my type the movie. movie. Oh yeah, my I guess that. Yeah. Ooh, that's a conspiracy, I believe. What, what? magic's real? Clones. I like be- like who I cloned that- Tyrone kind of stuff. That's a type, great movie. Type thing, yeah. <laughs> How do you know if people are, are clones in? How do you know I'm not a clone? I don't know. I do not know. You could be locked up in a basement. And I'm talking to the wrong mic right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I think that I think cloning technology is that good today. Now, so they can clone sheep. I don't. Yeah, they can clone things. I don't know no, about people. people yet. No, they could clone people for sure. <laughs> yeah, what? if you could clone an animal, you clone a person. He said. We're not the same as a sheep. No, but we are close to the same as a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of random shit is that? I'm we are close bo- to dolphins. Yeah, I don't bullshit. think we're that close to dolphins. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, they're smarter than us, actually. Yeah. <laughs> no, but... Uh, you got blowholes, but you, not so on So you don't heads. think that human cloning is, uh, is real? 
I don't know. I'm not saying it's not real. I just don't think that we're to that. Have that you think point. they've done it? Because I think Kevin Hart has a few clones. Oh my god! I don't. Why would they want to clone celebrities? If you can be if doing you, a press release in L.A. while doing a, a different endorsement deal with, over in but why does in that have to do Europe, with celebrities? And then because they're, they're the most profitable. influential, yeah, they're, they're, you could profit off of that. If you're able to do but multiple who's going to profit off of it? The celebrity? The celebrity and whoever is You think, is think running. someone would figure it out if you're in two all places these, at once? All of these celebrities Did you just have watch handlers. Real Husbands of Hollywood and that's why you figured it out it's Kevin Hart? No, no, no. Because no. there's an episode with him cloning himself like 30 times. Put it in plain sight. Oh, well, here we go. See that truth in plain here sight? Here we go. Yeah, no. no. Oh, so that's, that's one that I'll stand behind too. I believe that's real. Cloning. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I don't think we're there yet. No, we, we've been there. We've been there. Like a long time, yeah. What about you, Mark? I mean, he's got some wild shit he's got to say. <laughs> Mark uh, Kelly didn't do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, trying to think. I'm trying to think of a good one. You know what? I like any of the ones about the ocean. Just like how, like, the what? I like the ones about the ocean. Like anytime they talk about like shit, like there's shit, like all the animals and stuff, or the the things we haven't. They say that. 90% of the ocean is not even explored. Yeah. Yeah. Which is wild. I got a cool conspiracy on that. The aliens are in the ocean? Well, that's also a conspiracy. That, like, I, don't think that's, I think that's true. That's not far fetched for yeah. sure. Uh, are you talking about the one where like the sky and the ocean are this like. You oh, told me that. No, no I. No, no don't that's, do this. That's a different one. That That's one that I do believe too. The uh, sky, the ocean are the same. No, so listen, the. the we're like, like in, second we're in between. In the Bible. Are you yeah. high right now? L- yes, always. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. Second part, of, like second verse in the Bible said that God split the uh, the waters from the waters, and uh, it talked about a firmament and everything. And so in my head, that's like not a firmament, <laughs> the firm. I meant the firmament. I meant a firmament, not a firmament. <laughs> no, no, no. But um, the one that I was gonna say, Mark, was do you guys know how how NASA started and it was to explore the ocean and no. and the the story goes that they found something that scared them so much that they switched to being a, a space agency to get off the planet <laughs> i like it i like it there's so much shit down there if yeah, we really, no, we really like, don't know what's but down they there they could only go so far so yeah no they think about that, that out. what animals are beneath the the yeah, level that we can't go pressure wise you know yeah we don't know that's crazy i don't think nasa figured it out either I think they found something. How they go that deep? They could have robots and stuff, you know, that could withstand the pressure. Back in the fifties when they started it, we supposedly went to the moon in the sixties. We didn't go so. to the moon. You don't think so? No. Mike here. Mike said it first. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Do you believe we went to the moon? I believe we went to the moon. I don't believe that we went to the moon that time at sixty nine. The whatever the date. I don't was believe we went to it at all because it to get there it was like Through almost the water. impossible. Yeah. And did like, you say through the water? <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> well, through the water. Here we go. But I mean, there's so many things where everything says no, and like they had to have everything yeah. perfect for to go. And then how do you call the president from the moon? Right. Is beyond me. It was a hundred percent. Yo, know, five G back then. <laughs> no, yeah. I believe that for sure. G- GPS was invented in like the 30s. How do you? Your 40s. You, you, I can't, oh my God, I'm going to smack you. What? <laughs> you really think that somebody can call from 1969? No, no, no. From the I, moon? I don't believe that they were there. No. Okay. But I'm saying they had technology. Yeah, to like, call from here to I mean, Iraq. Like there's some technology. Do you believe that there was some technology used before the 50s that still hasn't came out to the public? Probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's not too far fetched. But. The the thing is, I believe that that was one of the first times on a global stage that they f- faked some propaganda to sure. become the superpower. Yeah, a hundred percent. You know, so like, because we haven't been back since, which doesn't make any. They made a movie sense. about it too, just well, recently. Well, yeah, with Scarlett but Johansson. What makes yeah. it doesn't make sense that they have not been back. They're like, well, there's nothing up there. But you explored uh, a quarter mile, and you're like, all right, there's nothing here. Some people think that the moon is a base. A base for what? You and these conspiracies. ETs. ETs? Yep. 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 They just live on the dark side of the moon? Yeah. You want to hear a flat earth conspiracy? No, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the the flat earth conspiracy is that the, the, 
Antarctica is the ice wall around our oceans. So and we're in Game of Thrones, okay? Type thing, right? And yeah, outside of Antarctica is even more land, apparently. So we just keep going. So past Antarctica, there is even more land. And past that, there's another ice wall. And it goes on and on and on. And it's like giant, right? So we live in a never ending earth, basically. So, but they say that they call it ETs because it's extra terrestrials. They say extra terrain. So it's from the, the extra terrain. And it's from the outer space of. Ooh, you're making my head hurt. Our, <laughs> no, but the, it's a lot of weird stuff on the internet. Yeah, yeah. useless on information. the internet. Yeah, useless information. Yeah, but I I think to uh, to a sane person who who can ingest all this information, you could point out the bullshit from the the po- possible. Yeah, you know? what you said was bullshit. And it's possible. And, and no, <laughs> look up Admiral Bird. <laughs> you make no sense. Look up Admiral all? Bird. Was that Billy Madison? No. <laughs> it's like what you told me has made me and everyone else in the room dumber. dumber. <laughs> it's like I hope God has mercy hey, in your soul. See, Mike, and, and now you I'm, rewarded I'm zero like, points. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Steve Buscemi. Yeah, I'm, you listed. Like, I just wrote Mike your name Simmons. down. <laughs> just wrote your Glad name I called down. that guy. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll end with this because the fight is. What Friday? Friday, and then this will air on Tuesday. Yeah. So tell me who you think will win, and if you're Shit. wrong, I get to smack you. Oh, what? No, yeah. no, no, no deal. Uh, no deal. Let's see. All right, George can slap you. It's all right, good. I think that <laughs> we're talking about the Tyson and Jake Paul fight, right? Yeah i I want to believe that Tyson won, but I wouldn't be surprised if they let Paul win. Well, who do you think's gonna win though? I don't I, know. Cause what like, is Tyson what, 57 or something? I, me personally, I don't care how great Tyson was. Mm-hmm. The man's a 57 or 60 years right. old. Yeah. That takes into and account. Bro like, is at his peak male yes, performance yes. on the other side. And I know he's not a legit boxer. I would say he is now. But I don't think he's. No, get the hell out of here. No, nah, because like. There's he a lost to Tommy Fury. For sure, who isn't that great of a boxer. Too. That's not even ranked. Yeah, no. I, I understand that. But there, there's a level of respect that I have gained for him just because. He fights celebrities that No, because take I know what goes into training for a fight. Sure. Yeah, he and trains he his has ass off. lasted all rounds in a fight. Like, okay. That so doesn't make you a fighter. It doesn't make you a fighter, but. Put it this way: Out of all the YouTubers and everybody that's fought, he has looked the most like a boxer. Yeah, well, I would call him a good amateur boxer. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. he is technically like, if we're going based off of like years of experience, he is on the amateur side of yeah. things. But he's still an athlete. Sure. And he's put in the time in the gym to where now I can't discredit him that he's not a boxer. I, I agree. So. With him being at his peak, like, uh, performance level and him being in the gym, in the boxing gym, working, and he's he went to USA Boxing Team and worked out with them, and mm-hmm. he's getting the right guidance for boxing, I don't think it's far-fetched if he does win or even knock Mike out because he is a 57-year-old man who smokes at weed every day. Yeah. So you're yeah. saying he's going to win? I'm saying it's possible. I need a yes or no, sir. Is he going to win? If Tyson doesn't knock him out within the first three rounds, I think Jake Paul will win. Okay. You heard it here first. If Tyson wins, I get to smack the <laughs> shit out of his side. We both do. <laughs> if, if, if he wins the first three rounds, All you right. get to. So I if get Tyson to doesn't knock him out within the first three rounds, I get to smack. No, you get a free guy. cigar. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. It's been a great episode. And we'll catch you next time. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow us on all the platforms. And tune in next week. And we'll see if we get to smack Eastside. It's all good. It's a bunch of bullshit. All right, we're out. Goodbye, everybody.